Leilani Evans, Construction Software Sales Associate at TAG, a premier stage authorized business partner with offices throughout Southern California. We have a full team of certified consultants ready to assist you in deploying new construction software. Today, I want to tell you about Sage Paperless. Picture it. Rooms full of cardboard document boxes and rows of filing cabinets. You are tasked with finding one piece of paper. You have to spend precious time looking for drawers and boxes. And all the while, there's still a chance that the last person to pull the document may never have put it back in its proper place. For long time running construction and real estate companies, this is a daily reality. Electronic document management puts an end to the paper chase and gives you control over content with an easy way to store, retrieve, and route documents throughout your organization. You can capture, upload, or import any type of document from any location. The electronic storage option allows workers to use keywords to search for files without ever having to leave their desk. Sage offers document management products for accounts payable, workflow, automation, or for companies that need a full construction document management platform for projects from start to finish. Contact me directly at 909-292 5846 for more information. Now let's jump into Sage Paperless and give you a peek at what it offers. Sage Paperless Construction's module allows us to scan in all of our documents, either from paper, right directly through a scanner into the system, allows us to take PDF documents that may be stored on my hard drive or stored on, in a email that was sent to me. All these documents are sent over, scanned in, and put into individual queues for people to enter into the system. We're going to go through a couple examples. As I've stored in some purchase orders and some drawings and some lien waivers, all those documents are going to be indexed. Now with this product, you can completely customize the types of documents that you're storing in the system. There's no limitation. Out of the box, we've got four main document categories, accounts payable, human resources, payroll, and project management, but do know the sky's the limit. You can build your own, you can build your own document types. So if I'm coming down this AP list and I wanna add a purchase order, I can, or I can build my own type of document with the own index values and even backfills back into our account in system, either 100 or 300. Being that this is a purchase order, I'm gonna scan in select the PO from a live list that's looking back at my Sage Accounting Back Office. And if you notice, as I select the different pieces here, it's gonna fill in all of the values based on that that are in Sage. I don't have to go in and code in the date and the job and the vendor name. It knows what they are because that PO is attached. It's all within the same system. I can scan it in, index it, but I also might wanna store in some of my drawings that are in the system. I have a architectural drawing that I want to store in. Well, I can just go ahead and tell it to index that, say it's a project management document, in this case a drawing. And this also has connections back in with project management or, or document control in Sage. So I don't have to go in and code in all these different values. Once again, I can go into my drawing number, search for and find, all the different drawings in the system, pick the appropriate one, I believe this is my AO2, select that, and it's gonna code all the values for that into the system. Now, as I mentioned, these are customizable. You can create your own values. They don't necessarily have to connect back in with Sage, but if they do, you can save yourself a lot of time on coding and not having to put in all that information one by one by one. I can also take any document that I'm storing in and route them around for approval. So in the case of this drawing, I might want to send this over to somebody else to review. I tell it to route after index. In this particular case, as I'm going to manually route it out. But also know if you have documents that you want to be able to send um, automatically. Every time I put in a purchase order, I want it to go route to this person. Or if I have a payment approval form in accounts payable or human resources, I can have those automatically route based on the supervisor that's coded in the system. 
keep in mind, this doesn't have to be for approval. As I come in and put in my subject, um, well, let's say drawing added, I can put in my notes and send this to say, I'd like Andy to take a look at this and then also maybe Dustin. They'll both get it at the same time or I can tell them to get it in any order you want. I can add other documents as well. But as I pointed out, it doesn't have to be for approval. I may just want to put these in the system and say, here they are, take a look. And this system will automatically route it to them so there they can see it and just sign off and say, yeah, I looked at it. Or as the case here, I want to mark it for approval. So I say approval. I route that over. And now it's going to use what we call the doc route system within the, within a Sage Paperless Construction to send those over to those people. And as soon as it's done, it pulls up my next drawing and allows me to start coding that in. I talked a lot about project management and I talked a lot about the AP there, but no, you could store anything. Remember, I could put in all of my payroll direct deposits into here and allow my employees to log in and view those documents. I also might put in property management, lease contracts, contracts for my jobs. Anything signed, we can scan those in and store them in. This system allows us to do full markup and annotation on anything we have here. So if I would like to put a sticky note on here, making a comment that uh, make sure that the cost codes are set correctly, I can make that a larger font size here. I can put that sticky note on. I can put a stamp for approval if I want. And you know, nice things about some of our stamps are you can tell it to automatically put your name, date, and timestamp as soon as you plug that down so that you know exactly when that happened. Of course, we still keep that all tagged together in the back in the metadata as well. So as I come through, I can approve it and move on to my next document. 